Greatness of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala demonstrated in a sahih hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, جَعَلَ اللَّهُ الرَّحْمَةَ مِئَةَ جُزْءٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he created mercy, he divided it up into 100 parts. 100 parts. Only one, my dear brothers and sisters, one of these parts, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent on this earth. And from this one mercy is all the forms of mercy that we see in our lives. The mercy between a mother and her child. The mercy between animals. The mercy between animals and other animals. Whether they're from their same kind or they're from other kinds. And subhanAllah, we see pictures and videos on the internet of animals showing absolute mercy and absolute compassion and absolute love to each other. All the mercy, my dear brothers and sisters, that is in this world and the mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to us. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful to us in this dunya, and when a mother is merciful to her child, and when a father is merciful to his uh, child, and when a husband is merciful to his wife, and when an animal is merciful to another animal, and when we are merciful not only to humans or not only to animals, but even to plants, it is from this one mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One mercy. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved the other 99 parts of his mercy the other 99 parts of his mercy so that he can forgive us on the day of judgment subhanallah look at this all the mercy that we see in this life that we live in, my dear brothers and sisters, is only from this one mercy. And the remaining parts of these mercy, the 99 other parts, are saved until the Day of Judgment. Are saved until the Day of Judgment so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most gracious, the most merciful, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, will forgive us on the Day of Judgment.